You're watching Plant Identification Through Personal Investigation with Angeline Whitmire. This plant portrait is for English plantain, Plantago lanceolata. English plantain, a perennial plant, is frequently viewed as a perennial weed throughout North America. Although it is native to Eurasia, its range now extends to every continent. This plantain prefers disturbed areas, including open grasslands and wastelands. Let's follow some English plantain through one calendar year. In late winter, the leaves are small and prostrate, low to the ground. During late winter and early spring, some new leaves grow from the center of each plant. The leaves begin to grow more upright. Now, the scapes, which support new flowers, begin to emerge. Flower buds grow at the tip of the scapes. The spike of flowers begins to bloom. A mass of blooming spikes tower over the basal leaves. Scapes and spikes of former flowers bend over with browning seed cases still attached at the tip of the scape. More flowers bloom while older seed cases turn brown and the older scapes fall over. Everything has turned brown except for a few new basal leaves. The dead growth breaks off just below the ground surface. Nearby, a few new plants, which sprouted from seed the previous fall, retain some green leaves along with the browned leaves from winter's cold. English plantain leaves are relatively long and narrow, lanceolate. They are widest through the central part of the leaf and taper to a point at the leaf apex. Mature summer leaves tend to curl and twist. Leaf veins are parallel with three to five furrows on the top of the leaf and three to five prominent ridges on the leaf underside. Margins are entire, although according to one field guide, they may be slightly toothed. English plantain leaves only grow from the base of the plant in a rosette. The stem which grows from the center of the plant is called a scape since it has no leaves along its length. The deeply furrowed scape supports the budding inflorescence. The developing inflorescence looks like a rounded spire. The flowers at the bottom of the inflorescence bloom first. While more bottom flowers bloom, the middle portion of the inflorescence matures for the next round of flower buds. When the flowers within an inflorescence do not have little stems or pedicels attaching them to the scape, they are sessile. The entire inflorescence of sessile flowers is called a spike. Eventually, the ring of flowers moves upward through the spike. This photo shows browning flowers at the bottom, blooming flowers in the middle, and flower buds at the top. Most field guides and similar resources describe and illustrate only one type of English plantain flower, the staminate flower. However, this plant also grows pistillate flowers. As explained by John Eastman in The Book of Field and Roadside, Open Country Weeds, Trees, and Wildflowers, flowers may be pistillate, all female, staminate, all male, or bisexual, but all flowers are the same on an individual plant. Let's look more closely at each type of English plantain flower. The staminate flower has protruding stamens, as seen in this view from above and from the side. The creamy white flags at the tips of the stamens are the anthers. Each stamen has a pair of anthers. While each flower has a four-lobed papery corolla. Here's the four-sided flower bud with blooming and dying staminate flowers further down the spike. Now for the pistillate flower. Here are the flower buds with styles extending from open flowers. The styles look feathery. Older styles bend and twist. 
styles arise from a four-parted corolla, just like the stamens on the staminate inflorescence. Each spike of flowers elongates as the first flowers die and new flowers mature up the spike. This is true for the staminate inflorescence. as well as the pistillate inflorescence. The brown parts of the inflorescence include dead anthers and stamens, or dead styles along with dead corollas. Pollination occurs primarily through wind dispersal of the pollen. However, sometimes small flies or bees help out. Fertilized flowers become seed capsules. Initially, the seed capsules are green. Gradually, they turn brown. Let's study a browned spike with its seed capsules. Here are some of those English plantain seed capsules. Each capsule typically contains two seeds, although it may have only one seed. This is Angeline. Thank you for watching and learning about Plantago lanceolata, also known as English plantain. Visit identifythatplant.com for more images of English plantain, for a blog post comparing English plantain with common plantain, for plant identification resources, and for information about how you can confidently master the skill of correct plant identification.